Hi friends, it's Courtney. Welcome back to the channel. I am here with my um, happy planner that I have been using for goals and uh, yeah, not gonna lie, September didn't really accomplish much of what I set out to do. Hopefully you can see, um, I'm using, I'm using natural light. And so I don't know, hang on, let me see if I turn this light on. It's better or worse. Okay, maybe that's better too. Um, so yeah, I didn't really accomplish much of what I set out to do, um, kind of my big to do's of the month. I have some of them filled in, but, um, I just like decided to wait on joining the gym. So I crossed that out. Um, I did start some of these, so I think I'm just going to um, like put a dot in the rest of them. Uh, I started planning that. I started brainstorming goals for next year. Our meal plan was kind of all over the place and I didn't really work on the marketing plan for my book release. Um, so I will say my wins, I think I accomplished more. I did And although I didn't finish the book, I made really good progress. Um, what were my challenges? I think I kind of want to pull this out. Once again, my challenges, I just, some of it was time management. And some of it was uh, my mental health was really bad. Okay. Because when I look at this other page, um, I mean, I didn't really work on my blog at all. So that was kind of a wash, but I did do a lot of things like personally, I read six books. We spent some intentional like family time together. We did schedule a date night. Um, but it's not until, uh, well, we actually had one on Sun. We had a day date on Sunday and then we're going out on the 12th and I didn't establish a self care routine, but I did make a list of kind of things 
that I want to incorporate into self-care. I didn't really track anything on my social media. So I, I know that I posted to my Instagram more. I know that I was more active in my IG stories and I did, I think, post maybe one or two reels. I can't remember. Um, which is fine. It wasn't like a weekly thing that was just for the month. I didn't finish the draft, but I did kind of work on my author website. And um, I have like an idea for like the first three chapters of the next book. I need to, I kind of brain dumped all of that information. Um, just like into a Word document. It's not formatted in any way, so I kind of need to go through and um, start outlining so that I can write those three chapters. And then, I mean, if you look at my weeklies, you can see that um, once again, kind of the first week I was on top of it, fell apart the second week. I can't remember what happened, but it was just really rough the second week. Um, this week my husband had the flu, so I kind of was on, like, doing all the parenting stuff plus you know, trying to make sure that he was okay and kind of tending to him. And then I started to get back into the swing of it at the end of the year. So, um, yeah, I still didn't do like the deep clean that I wanted to of our bedroom. So I need to do that. But anyway, so we're moving into... Um, and then these are just my weeklies. I am, I think, going to sit down and do some reflections, but I'm losing light, so I might just do that on my own, and I can't really remember, like, what I, how I did that last month. Oh, okay. All right, well, we'll come back to that. I don't know where that came from. Um, so we're going to start with October. I do have some like sticky flag. I think that's how I'm going to plan my content is like on sticky flags. And then once those videos are up, I will write them on the monthly. And then if I need to change them around, I can without whiting out my entire calendar. Um, I'm going to use this sticker kit, some washi, and kind of get started. And then I want to look at my last month. So I can kind of see how I did it. Okay, so I did, I thought I pulled some sticker books, but maybe I didn't. And then this kind of goes with this. I don't know. We'll see where I end up. Okay, I did pull some labels. So I have this um, sticker, just like boxes from Happy Planner. Then I have some other like boxes and labels that I pulled out. I think that will go. But let's... Um, so I do... I feel like maybe my son used one of my whiteouts and that's why it's kind of jacked up. But I do want to white that out and then I think I'm going to white that out for now and that out. 
So um, I really am trying to like come in um, for like quarter four and really I wish I had more of these boxes, but I don't. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to really come in and like really kind of push for um, quarter four and see what I can accomplish because I, I don't know. It's not like I feel like I haven't accomplished anything this year because I have, but I didn't accomplish or I haven't yet to do all of the things that I wanted to do this year. And so I guess it's kind of like bumming me out a little bit. So how can I do this? Um, can I move this down further? And I ripped it. Of course I did. As you can see, I did not really plan this out, like, at all. habit trackers and then I am going to put um, challenges here and then we can do wins here and then do I have like general to do. I mean, I have these, but they don't really go, do they? Although I do have some brown here, so maybe I can bring it in. Um, I don't know if I want to add washi or not. And then there's that, that's kind of bugging me. And then that where I pulled things up. But I wonder if I use, let's 
So that page is done. And then we're going to do this page and, huh. Um, I just did labels and maybe I'll do that again this month because I did labels and checklists. So hang on, let's, first of all, let's move this. And I do feel like everything is reflective, which means it's not going to show up super great with this lighting. I apologize. Um, I do have this go your own way, which... Uh, I kind of like it better than this. I don't know, we'll see. But I have these labels, so I'm gonna put, or should I use the smaller ones? Uh, maybe I should. Even though I don't think that I have. Okay, so I have one. writing so I would like to do at least 20 workouts this month that sounds like a lot but and then I need to like write every day let me do writing um, and then this is person. Okay, so I know, bet you I don't have enough of these little stars to do like bullet points, do I? I don't. Um, and then we can fill this in with
challenges. Wins. Uh, I got marker on my hand. This is stats. Um, all right, let me fill this in first. I think this is gonna be like a fairly hectic month. So I'm trying to not overwhelm, but also I'm trying to be realistic, but also um, like fit in all the things that I need to do this month. And I'm not sure <laughs> that looks kind of crazy, but okay, it's fine. Um, this is like impossible. And it's funny, like I don't tend to typically have a lot of like personal stuff that I want to do, but this month I do. Um, okay, let me do these off camera. Okay, they look kind of janky, but whatever. So for writing, I want to put Finish the book and send to the editor. Um, launch. Mm. Our author. Website. Live. And then. Um. Preptober is basically 
prepping for NaNoWriMo, which is in November. Um, then I pulled this up because I think it had blog, but I put content. So I just want to post... all the content planned. Um, I then want to make a content calendar And um, there was one more, I can't remember what it was. For personal, I want to do 20 workouts. We need to um, make holiday plans. Um, so in case you're new here, we have five kids. Four of them are adults and live on their own. Um, so we call them the bigs. There's a very large age gap between the two, the last two. Um, and then I'm still going to put... Uh, oh... I want to establish journal routine. Um, and then for socials, I just want to post on my author social. Post on author um I want to work on what is that um uh, like cohesive branding and mm. okay so we've got that I do have some to-dos to put down, but I don't know what. And I have this still on my... Okay, and this is with some struggle, the finished product. So uh, these are kind of my big 
to-dos for the month or maybe specific to-dos. I'm not sure like what else to label them as, but I need to set up my Kanban board for quarter, quarter four, um, finish quarter four planning. Actually, that should come before that, but I was just writing them down as they popped into my head. Um, put together my book launch marketing plan that is from last month that didn't get completed. Hire a formatter for the both the ebook and the paperback. Find ARC readers. I want to read six books, one nonfiction, one of those being nonfiction. Um, and then track my weight and meals. I have my habit tracker over here. And then for each kind of, I guess, category. So on my writing, finish the book and send it to the editor. I want my author website to go live. And then I want to participate in Preptober to prep or at least start prepping for NaNoWriMo. Still not sure if I'm going to do it, but I'd like to be in a good place where if I decide to do it, I won't be playing catch up. Um, for content, I just have post all the content that I have planned and then create a content calendar for my author website. For social media, I have post on my author's social accounts, which I have not done yet. Uh, create cohesive branding for those accounts and just be like more interactive, active. I don't know, that's worded weird, but I know what it means. And then for my personal category, I want to complete 20 workouts this month, uh, make plans for the holidays. Um, I'd like to do some stuff with my older kids. I want to have some kind of like holiday party or get together. Um, I'd like to have one family dinner with my big kids and then establish a regular journal routine. I think that's going to be important going into the next year. So um, these are kind of my goals for October and... Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I have now. It's just um, a matter of focusing and executing. Um, oh, I have an extra bullet here. But um, yeah, it's just a matter of focus and executing on all of these things, which I really, really want to do. So um, this is my goal plan for October. I did also go through and do uh, my September reflections. Um, so for September, I just have once again, my mental health derailed the plans. And um, when I'm in that spiral, it's really difficult to pull myself out of it. And it becomes like this vicious cycle. I also let self-doubt slow me down. I don't need a two there, do I? Um, and then adjustments. I plan to really focus on the outcome. Why do I want to do these things? What will my life look like? How will I feel? Remind myself that I'm not going to be the best of anything straight out the gate. I'm not attempting to write the great American novel. I simply want to write a good book that readers enjoy. I'm seeking to improve my health and fitness to be both mentally and physically healthy. Wow, words. Um, I want a long life with my family and it doesn't have to be perfect, just start. And then, um, so yeah, do you have big goals for September? If you do, I'd love for you to leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.